let me lock this and let's just quickly recreate this uh, logo so that we can put our own name or okay i don't think this is a real life name or something okay okay so let me lock this is this an image yes let me just quickly lock it okay and then this is how simple this thing is guys okay let me just use the pen okay so just take your mouse and click here okay, as you can see okay as you can see guys remember we are professionals now okay okay and then let's do the same thing for this um not really don't forget on figma to make sure that these dots are not highlighted let's go back here okay click the move um, click the move tool make sure you click on the side until this is not activated okay uh, until this as you can see this is not activated these dots are not there so that we can create a new shape because if you do that way this will be one shape and then you won't be able to what can i say um maneuver and manipulate it okay so what we're going to do here as you can see guys this is a, a rectangular shape so we can just take this take this okay take this and then we can just double click here and extend this pressing shift at the same time okay pressing shift at the same time and then pressing shift at the same time so that this cannot move okay i'm happy with this if you look at this also this is double click double click and then this is also another rectangular shape okay as you can see guys this is another rectangular shape okay and then you can double click on it get it here and get it here then zoom out all right and then from there i think we can take this okay take this shape this shape and then we can remove the stroke um let's go to the fill and sample the fill color and sample this color and sample this color as well happy with that and then let's bring this to the back as you can see guys and then what we can do here now we can use our own skills okay just to align things remember guys this is not like a design course okay so let's just use our own skills and our own discretion to align things okay my apologies about this just to align things okay and that is it um what else come here okay double click on this one align it like this okay and this one double click here double click again and take this one and align it here Okay, zoom in here. Okay, guys, and that is it. Okay. Now we just got an identity. Okay. We just got an identity. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to ask our ChatGPT to give us um da -da 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 -da. must we ask chat gpt to give us the slogan or yeah let's just quickly uh, do that okay okay let's just ask chat gpt prompt it to provide a low logistics let's just say app name um starting with 
B. With a slogan. Um, with a slogan and what? Um, yeah, with the slogan and yeah, with the slogan only. Let's just quickly uh, check that. Boxify, cool. Logistics simplify, as you can see, guys. Okay. Um, logistics simplified. Interesting. Now this is Boxify. Okay. Press K, guys, to scale things up. Okay. Um, make sure that uh, this is bold. And then let's press V, sample the color again, this one. I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm happy with this. All right. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do here on this identity? Um, Poxify logistics. Okay, let's take this logistics. Okay, logistics. Can it be all capital letters? Let's try that. All right, and then control B so that it cannot be bold. Press K to scale everything down. Okay. Scale everything down. So file logistics. Let's look at this. And then let's play around with um, the spaces between uh, the uh, letters not line height letter spacing something like this okay right and then okay i'm happy with this okay remember this is not a logo design tutorial okay okay and also that's the um, some of our challenges as designers okay we what can i say hey, designers when they are designing um, most people they get bored because designers will have all these minor tweaks okay they are not happy they will always say yeah but it it does it feels okay so guys it's normal it happens to everyone so let's continue okay designers are always not satisfied like it's like they live in their own world okay okay now let's continue guys okay I'm happy with um, the the identity, and then the slogan logistics simplified. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think we can start um, designing, and then we need um, another part which is very important. It's um, imagery. Okay, my apologies about that. Um, the images. Okay, remember this needs to be premium. Okay, this needs to be like I'm not sure somebody must trust it okay so we are going to use um we are going to go here and use pack cells okay do i have pack cells here um where do i get pack cells on plug in okay and then i'm going to type um logistics okay logistics um i'm going to change this search by the way but i'm just showing you um the process my process okay logistics okay see guys okay mm, this what can we say what can we say this can help us okay let's see okay let's see okay this can help us okay the other option, the reason why I was saying I'm going to change this search, the other option, I wanted to compare um, logistics images and human images. Okay, remember here we are establishing trust. Okay, so I trust another human than the machine. Okay, so now that I saw this plain um, image, okay, it's decent and it's, uh, what can I say, it's premium, okay, it looks like it might work for me, but the other thing that I was going to do, I was going to search for business people, 
okay um what i'm trying to do here okay i'm trying to find a person that will mimic the user okay like when you see these images the user might see themselves okay they might not see themselves in a plane so that's why i was saying i'm still going to change the search okay so this business person needs this model needs to portray is confident okay um for instance um something that is closer to what i'm looking for is this or maybe this might be um the way to go so now i am caught up between these two i like this because it's simple it's like plain it's okay this conveys a lot of information okay this um it has got some sort of a class okay um it it has got a lot of things that we need guys okay to capture the interest of the user but at the same time remember people relate to to people okay there is something called a rapport some sort of um if 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 i want you to understand me i need to find a way to communicate in your accent okay so that you can quickly understand where i'm i'm coming from it's something like that so um that's what i was trying to do with this one so instead let me um search here confidence okay let me confident let's see okay this is what i'm looking for this is what i'm looking for okay this is what i'm looking for okay this is what i'm looking for but at the same time this is a male okay i think um am i not excluding some people which is uh females okay so in terms of going with human beings okay i think here if i put this guy i'm excluding other people specifically females okay this one works for me but the angle of this guy is not like picture perfect okay or maybe i am a div designer maybe i can cut this guy and put uh this guy here okay maybe i can do that but obviously it's going to be a lot of unnecessary work okay guys okay uh for now let's um reserve this until further notice uh, my apologies about that for now okay we will see um we still have a, a, a long journey okay but i think this works for me well, the other thing that works for me here if i can be honest guys it's this white space okay obviously one might feel like matthew this space is not white okay so in design um any space it's white space okay that's a general term for it okay it means that there is a room a breathing room okay i like this um it represents taking off with us your ideas can take off okay i like this plane okay um this is not something that i had in mind but i like this so let's continue guys okay now um, let's get into the first screen okay 